gingival retraction cord. Gingival retraction is the displacement of the marginal gingiva away from the tooth by mechanical, chemical, or surgical means. Gingival retraction cord is a cord usually combined with chemical and pressure packed into the gingival sulcus leading to enlargement of the sulcus and control of fluid seeping from the sulcus. The purposes of using gingival retraction cord are, to increase exposure of the operating site, to aid in isolation, to control hemorrhage. Indications are, when cavity preparation extends into subgingival area as in class 3 or class 5 cavity preparation, making impressions to get the contour of the tooth below the cervical margin, gingival overgrowth hindering operative procedures, control gingival hemorrhage during operative procedure. Working principle include, gingival retraction cord is soaked in a chemical to promote gingival contraction. The chemicals used are usually local vasoconstrictors such as 8% racemic epinephrine, aluminium chloride, aluminium sulfate and ferric sulfate. These vasoconstrictors produce transient gingival shrinkage. Use of vasoconstrictors also explains the hemostasis in the gingiva. Explain the procedure to the patient in your own word. We will be placing a thread within your gums now. Don't worry because this will not cause any pain. There may be some discomfort while we are placing it. We need to place this thread so that we are able to visualize better the operating area. This of course enables us to provide better quality treatment. This thread has some medicines on it which will cause the gums to shrink and stop any bleeding. Armamentarium include, cheek retractor, mouth mirror and probe, dappen dish, tweezers, gingival cord packer, serrated or non-serrated, gingival retraction cord scissors, and local anesthetic with syringe and needle, if necessary. Procedure. Isolate the working field with saliva ejector and cotton rolls. Next, the retraction cord is drawn from the dispenser bottle with sterile tweezer and a piece of approximately 5 cm long is cut off. The cord is twisted to make it tight and small. The retraction cord should be dipped in 25% aluminium chloride solution, hemostatic agent, in a dappen dish. The retraction cord is looped around the tooth and held tightly with the thumb and forefinger. The cord is packed into the gingival sulcus from the mesial surface of the tooth. The cord should be stabilized near the distal end of the tooth. Occasionally it may be necessary to hold the cord with one instrument while packing with another. The instrument used for packing should be angled slightly towards the root to facilitate the subgingival placement of the cord. The instrument is inclined at an angle towards the tooth surface. If it is held parallel to the long axis of the tooth, the retraction cord will be pushed against the wall of the gingival crevice and will rebound. Proceed to the mesiopalatal region. End at distal interproximal region with slight overlap. 2 to 3 mm of cord left protruding outside the sulc. Excess cord is cut off near the interproximal area such that a slight overlap of the cord occurs in this region. At least 2 to 3 mm of the cord is left protruding outside the sulcus so that it can be grasped for easy removal. The retraction cord should be slightly moist before removal. Removing dry cord from the crevice can injure delicate epithelial lining in the gingiva. Probe is used to disengage the end of the cord from the sulcus. 
tweezers used to pull out cord slowly. In cases such as tooth preparation for crown restoration where the finish line need to be replicated in the impression, the cord should be removed slowly after 10 minutes in order to avoid bleeding. The gingival retraction is only maintained for 30 seconds after the cord is removed. If active bleeding persists, a cord soaked in ferric sulfate should be placed in the sulcus and removed after 3 minutes. In procedures where gingival retraction has to be maintained for longer period, the cord may be left till the procedure is over. It has to be made sure that the cord is removed after the completion of the procedure. Gingival retraction cord that is left within the gingival sulcus for extended period may result in gingival inflammation, 